Welcome to this quick demonstration of UMPL. UMPL can be found at umpl.org. UMPL is designed for open source developers, commercial developers who prefer to model textually, and for teaching UMPL. It generates, teaching modeling that is, it generates state-of-the-art code generation for C++, Java, and PHP. We're going to start taking a look at the UMPL online application. This is a website. It's not the only way to run UMPL. You can also use Eclipse and the command line. Let's pick an example class diagram from this menu. This is, for example, a hierarchy of two-dimensional shapes. This is an editable diagram. I can add an attribute down here, call it color. There we go. Now it will update this regular polygon in a second on the server. If I want, I can say that this is, instead of being a string, an integer. If I did that, you will see that the text will update. And indeed, if I wanted to call it a color, I can do that too. And after a few seconds of waiting to you to finish typing, this will also update in the diagram. You can view diagrams in different formats. So for example, I can say, lay it out automatically using GraphViz. I can also go to look at some state machines. So for example, here is a digital watch state machine. It's loading the state machine text. Notice that it looks very much like Java or C++. There is a non-reachable state. It's given us a warning about that. Um, I can make this disappear more nicely over here and scroll around on it. This is a state diagram. Um, you can blend class diagrams and state diagrams very nicely into any system in Java, P C++, and PHP. Let's take a look at generated Java code for this, for example. This is being, again, generated on the server. This is the, the Java code for this state machine. We can see that it has over a thousand lines generated from the state machine specification in UMPL, which has 127 lines. Or alternatively, I could generate C++ code as well. Uh, there are many other kinds of code I can generate in addition to this. C++ code coming from the server. There it is. This code will work on Microsoft and GNU C++ compilers. We also have composite structure diagrams. So for example, here is a ping pong system shown as a composite structure diagram. We'll be loading in a second. And again, I can generate code from this real-time code with lots of concurrent capabilities. Ampl will help you to analyze your models. So for example, if I paste some invalid code. This is saying there's a cyclical relationship between X and Y in the generalization relationship. It, won't, it will not be able to do this, and it will give you a warning. Or an error message, in fact, on line 2, that says that class Y cannot cyclically extend class X. And indeed, I can click on More Information, and this will take you to the UMPL user manual. All the error messages are documented in the user manual. And indeed, I can click on any of these and load it into UMPL Online to learn more about that particular error message. There's the error message that we just saw loaded. If I go back to my user manual, we can see there's lots of other powerful capabilities. UMPL Online has described how to do associations. So for example, let's take a look at reflexive associations, give some examples, and um, sorted associations. So UMPL goes a little bit beyond what you can do in UML, for example. Um, we have a, a capability for generation templates, a bit like PHP in UMPL. You can see how that might work there. Um, there is a generation template using that notation. We have several capabilities for concurrency, including concurrency in state machines and active objects. We have built-in constraints, subset of OCL, number of built-in patterns, such as singleton and immutable. We have um, some aspect-oriented capabilities for code injection and many, many other possibilities. 
as well. Ampl is written in itself. That's a powerful capability. I can in fact show you online the website where we have generated Ampl's own user manual of itself. So if you want to develop Ampl, you develop it in Ampl. Um, I can navigate around this class diagram that was generated as a result of the last build, and I can see, for example, Ampl class has th this, this information. Let me click on Ampl class. It'll take me to the documentation. It's automatically generated uh, from Ampl, and indeed, this would be generated from any Ampl program. Um, zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this tells me that, well, okay, uh, I can click on that and see the, the, the code written in Ampl that describes um, that particular aspect of the system. So once again, Ampl is a tool that allows you to generate uh, code in Java, C++, PHP. It allows you to edit the diagram. It allows you to do lots of powerful programming and modeling capabilities all in the same language. Um, there's a, a getting started cap uh, tool here, hello world example. Um, you, embed, you can embed your main program directly into the code. So for example, this one here has a main program. It also has an Ample Association, um, Ample Inheritance, um, and a number of other features.